So imagine my surprise to learn that Thomas Wang, the guy who stole $21,700, like it was nothing, is in the finance and business consulting. In fact, he has a business called like Wang Wealth. So uh, life insurance and all this stuff. So I'm going to read you the transcript. I'm going to read you his video. So it is the former apology and request for assistance. I don't think this guy knows what defamation is. I would be happy to teach him in a court of law. It's been a while. Uh, right now I'm a witness into a legal case, but I've been, my legal case where I was the defendant has quote resolved itself. Uh, we'll see what happens with this witness thing. But yeah, I'm ready to go to another legal case. Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Wang. It is Tuesday around midnight and I wanted to make a formal video to apologize for my actions this past weekend, I made a big mistake. Uh, so, pause. A big mistake isn't, you know, oh, an honest mistake that was made. This is like a mistake you could go to jail for, Thomas, and you know this, right? Because you later say, uh, say it. Lapse of judgment, and I hope for forgiveness. Not happening, Thomas, on this channel. In the long run, from the community of people, I hurt. And I just wanted to reiterate a little bit of what happened, what was what has transpired and what is going on as the aftermath. I had a minor lapse of judgment. So this is how you know this guy's a piece of shit. A minor lapse of judgment, Thomas? Again, you could go to jail and serve hard time in jail, Thomas. I would say this is more than a simple minor lapse of judgment. My first day at Collecticon, extremely long day, a vendor by the name of Reed had accidentally left his bag on my table. I, I did not connect the dots, and when I was cleaning up my table, I had inspected the bag and realized it was a large lump sum of cash. Wow, this wealth advisor realizes it's a large lump sum of cash. Without thinking properly, again, jail, Thomas, jail, I immediately just secured it. That's called conversion, Thomas. You've just omitted in video that you did conversion, Thomas. It's in video. And what transpired on the second day, and now you admitted that you took it back to your hotel or whatever, and then, you know, so this is this is really bad, Thomas. I'm here to tell you, you gotta take down this video because if the guy does charge you, exhibit A will be this video. I'm really sorry. Nope, you're not, Thomas. You had 24 hours to think about it. You're not sorry. You're sorry you got caught. For because I was not thinking straight, whether it was the lack of sleep. No, come on, man. Like, the lack of sleep is not going to change your ethics, Thomas. Like, this is so stupid. Like, I, like, if you're a good person, you return the money. If you're not, you take the money. That's it. Lack of sleep. I mean, you're going to blame it on lack of sleep? Whether it was because too busy, whether it was because, you know, oh, yeah, too busy for the $21,700. You know, I've never been presented with this scenario before. Yes, but when presented with this scenario, Thomas, you stole the money. Most important is the item was returned. No, that's not correct, Thomas, because how many times have you done this? Uh, let me tell you a story that I used to tell my employees about stealing. So a cashier works for a store owner for the last 20 years. The store owner catches the cashier stealing $5. He goes to his wife and says, you know what? She's been working for 20 years. I still like her a lot. She's friendly. And the wife said, no, this is the first time you caught her stealing. It doesn't mean this is the first time she stole. Meaning that she probably stole 99 other times and you didn't catch her. This time you came there early. She didn't realize you came there. She didn't know you were there and she took the money in front of you. But if you didn't change your schedule, she wouldn't have taken the money. So, no, the idea isn't that the most important thing is the money has been returned. The idea is what else happened. Reed and the vendor super grateful for them not pressing charges. So you know that they could have pressed charges, right? Thomas, you even say so. And seeing the light of day and understanding that's not me. At, no, it is you as a character, Thomas. It is you. I could get it if, like... One hour later, like you had returned it or two hours, but you went home that night, came back the next day, and only when they show you the footage did you get return the money. That's not cool, Thomas. 
as a character before con at trade nights online talking overall as a person it was never my intent to intentionally harm okay so when twenty one thousand seven hundred dollars goes missing and you know that's a lot of money thomas and cash do you think the person who lost the money is harmed even if it goes missing for a day and the answer is yes the reason that they're panicking they're they're probably not sleeping that night. They, they feel awful. They feel like they want to die, Thomas. Right? Reed is not a... He's a young man. $21,700. I wouldn't be surprised if that was all he had. So, for it to go missing... No, and, and I, I speak to Thomas from this perspective. Let me, let me speak very frank. Thomas, like, you know, like, had you returned the money and found Reed, you would be a hero. The 21, you, you do business consulting. I do business consulting. I would never advise, would you ever advise a client to take this money for 24 hours? No, I would invite and I, I would tell the client to immediately find out who it is, collect, contact, collect a con, work with them to make sure the money goes to the right person and not the wrong person, right? Because the immediate, uh, the, the payoff long-term and short-term of you returning this money is everyone thinks you're a great guy. And because you are a great guy, right? People will want to do business with you. People will come see Thomas Wang and, and they'll probably do some business and financial business with you. I'm just speaking as a consultant myself. I do marketing and legal consulting. Um, Thomas, you, you fumbled the bag here. You had an, a great opportunity to promote your Wang wealth in a, in a, in a positive way. You had a great opportunity to uh, do all this stuff. Okay, so let's let's get to this. I want to discuss because I made this mistake. It is negatively affecting my family, my loved one, my friends, and they are getting backlash and undeserved amounts of backlash, harassment, even being threatened. So if the community is mad at me, so be it. I made a mistake generally, and I did not have the intent to do. Yes, you did have. It's called mens rea legally. You had the intent. You held it for twenty four hours. You held it for a day, Thomas. That's intent. I do apologize for lapse of judgment. It's not just a simple lapse of judgment, Thomas. Like that a lapse of judgment indicates that it's like a one-time thing, right? Where it just happens. No, you kept, it was, it was a one-hour thing. And then a two-hour thing, you kept it. Then it was a three-hour thing. <laughs> it was a four-hour thing. And you kept it, you kept it, you kept it. But what's going on is that the excessive amount of threats and defamation. Yeah, Thomas, the defamation. Ugh, man, we covered that on my legal channel. And, you know, violent, semi-violent messages just need to be stopped because it's getting too much. Right now, we get to a point where actually have to contact an attorney for advice. The police for, oh, come on. You, Jesus Christ, Thomas. Are you kidding me? Are you effing kidding me? So, the, the dude is contacting the police. Thomas, do you tell them that you, what, what happened? Do you tell them the scenario? Thomas, why don't you tell them what happened and then contact the police? Because I'm fearing for the safety of myself, my family, my loved ones. I'm asking for people to help what to do next because the class uh, excess amount of negativity, hatred is very excessive and borderline unjust. Ooh, Thomas. I'm not right. So for those that know me, I no F you, Thomas. I, I'm going to say something, Thomas, that like you, you probably don't want to hear. Like this is online, Thomas. They literally didn't get the police involved. Otherwise, you would be in jail. For you to get the police involved and contact the attorney, I, I would love to talk to that attorney. I would love to talk to you. We'll live stream for you if you want. Because what you did was really, really bad, Thomas. And you want to get off scot-free. Well, it's on camera, Thomas. And you even confessed to it. It's not a lapse of judgment. The lapse indicates that it's like a short short period of time. It is continuously making bad, poor judgments. And if these are the poor judgments you make, I can only imagine what poor judgments you have advice you've given other people.